Though not far from the fall of Midway from the gaming industry, Stranglehold felt like the huge hit the US publisher needed after losing money continuously throughout the late 2000s. The follow-up to John Woo's Hard Boiled saw the director reuniting with actor Chow Young-Fat for the first time since the 1992 movie. Converting the Hong Kong action to the gaming medium proved an intriguing prospect. While the transition certainly isn't flawless, this game nevertheless proves a gun barrel full of fun, mixing movie tropes and shooter conventions with mostly satisfying results, and telling a new yarn which faithfully continues the story. For those unfamiliar, Hard Boiled follows the exploits of Inspector Tequila Yen, a policeman anti-hero who disregards authority to get results. Stranglehold, the sequel that would arrive 15 years later, follows Tequila who, despite having aged, has the same disregard for authority, desire to hunt criminals, and get justice through force. Along the way, players experience triple crosses between rival gangs, the kidnapping of both Yen's estranged former girlfriend and daughter, and a hell of a lot of explosions. Though some may bemoan the cleaner tone and the lack of some of the cool factor which made the original film a classic, the story here is nevertheless entertaining, with some serious scene-chewing villains, cool moments and exciting chases. Is there no one who can kill this cop for me? Don't worry boss. He's dead already. He just don't know it. <sighs> the seven chapter story isn't the longest, being beatable in around seven hours even on an initial run. But what Stranglehold lacks in length, it packs in double the action. Those stages are quite linear, there's a slew of bad guys to blast along the way sometimes spawning dozens of foes from a single door. Armed with dual-wield pistols, you can pick up shotguns, assault rifles, SMGs, and even explosive weaponry along the way. But it's not just about gunning down goons, but how you do it. Tequila time slows down everything around you, usually triggering when you interact with the environment. Kills done stylishly earn more stars, which in turn recharge the tequila meter and allow you to perform one of four special abilities. Recharging health, performing a precision shot that results in a wide range of kill cams, enter the barrage state that lets you fire explosive rounds for a few seconds, and even perform a spinning attack, wiping out nearby enemies in glorious, dove-laden fashion. In essence, playing with skill rewards in-game bonuses and proves a gratifying gameplay loop. Each stage comes with their own set pieces, interactive objects, and bosses. A faint glow highlights destructible objects which, when shot, often take out goons quickly. Whether it's neon signs crushing baddies, barrels exploding, or sliding down a rail, there are a ton of ways to modify your approach. While some interactions feel less fluid than others, such as climbing up railings and swinging across hanging objects, most of the time, the over-the-top action is highly enjoyable. Some set pieces are blood pumping, such as gunning down endless goons while riding a helicopter's turret and detonating endless yellow barrels. On the flip side, bosses can be inconsistent, especially a frustrating chase involving instant kill lasers. Some may also find the endless shooting, divided with almost no quiet time, can be shallow. But for the most part, Stranglehold is a hell of a lot of fun and doesn't outstay its welcome. Who killed the cop? Go to Taiyo and ask an I-9. But be quick, there won't be any left after tomorrow. Despite trying to ape Hollywood movies, Stranglehold isn't much of a looker on the PS3. The highlight is its destructible environments, which let you destroy a ton of objects with giddy glee while sending splinters, explosions, and debris everywhere. 
while some nicer lighting and brighter environments catch the eye, including an indoor casino split into several floors, a lot of the time the game is littered with unflattering textures, stilted animations and an uneasy performance which stutters at times. Cutscenes often do a poor job of masking these flaws. The sound is a bit better, with voice work that's typically decent or at least ironically enjoyable, including a slew of bad guys who check off the stereotypical baddie bingo card. The music, though sometimes hard to hear over potent VFX, is decent enough. Guns, explosions and combat all sound the part. While Stranglehold would prove another costly miss for Midway at a time when they needed success, it nevertheless proves a highly enjoyable, adrenaline fueled shooter that benefits from its immense style and a solid degree of substance. Though the action may prove draining to some, the focus on skill and using your environment really stands out compared to third person shooters of the time. Though some may find fault in its efforts to continue hard boiled, you cannot deny that the narrative and action combine to keep the blood pumping. Action enthusiasts who don't mind switching off should really enjoy Tequila's long awaited follow up. Who told you to stop playing?